What is up, YouTube? How's everybody out there doing today? I hope you guys are having a fabulous day because I know I am. And we have a freaking amazing video for you guys today. It's going to be freaking crazy. Zach is getting his fifth car. Yes, his fifth freaking car. Two of which he's had before he even got his license. Now he's, now he's on his fifth car before he even turned 17, which is crazy. And I think you guys are going to really, really like what he got if you haven't seen it in the thumbnail yet because i don't know what we're going to do for the thumbnail as of right now but uh we'll, we'll see we'll see what happens guys maybe i'll block out the car maybe you won't see it i don't know but uh we're here with ben the owner of the car previous owner the previous owner of the car and he is selling the car to zach indeed Ben, do you have an Instagram? What's your Instagram, Ben? Ben the Barber Nine. Ben the Barber Nine. Go over, check him out, give him a follow. Maybe there'll be something on there you can enjoy. I don't know. Maybe Always. he can, maybe he can help you out somehow. I don't, I don't know. But um, go check him out, guys. And uh, I guess really the the biggest thing we have to do now is Zach needs to pay the man. I do need to pay the man. Got it in the breast pocket and everything. Oh, you got it. Oh. You gotta you, shake man. a man's hand I, when he. That's a that's a respect legit. thing. Yeah, man, it's a legit thing. You know what I mean? There, money's been transferred. Deal's done. Okay, everybody, go home now. Okay, we can't go home yet. We got it. We got to go to the notary and do all the notary stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna head over to the notary. Zach's gonna sign his life to another car, which is great, I'm isn't a lot it? Of commitments. You're making a lot of commitments. I'm yes. A lot, of, a lot of title commitments. Yeah. Hey, can keep it running. I'm happy. If she's uh, happy, I'm happy. I, I think we'll be able. Uh, we'll see. We'll, I mean, like, we talk We talk about this. We talk about this later in the video, guys. So stick around to hear what we say later in the video and what's what's going on with this particular vehicle and, and what it could or couldn't be or whatever the case may be. Um, but stick around for the end of the video. You guys will see. So don't click off just yet. Exciting things are coming. Exciting things are coming, guys. But we're hoping to rec rectify any issues with this vehicle. To bring it back and and make it work and restore to former glory. Exactly. Yeah, restore to its former glory. Definitely re dyno tune the car for sure because we're definitely gonna have to do that as well. So she'll be smoking more Honda Civics in no time. Oh, uh, probably Integers as well. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh, whoa. and Eclipses. The purple adds ten horsepower. It does not. Yes, it does. It does. You're that's wrong. What red does in there. Yeah. Oh, look at that. It's actually gonna have more race cars than I've ever owned in my life. <laughs> Comment below. Tell me how you feel about that, guys. They're probably like, man, that's so messed up. I wish my dad oh, yeah, gave me all they're kinds they're of cars. They're haters. Even though I didn't give him all kinds of cars. He got all of his cars pretty much Wheeling with my help. Wheeling, Wheeling and dealing Wheeling with my deal. help. Yeah, he's got a lot of my a lot of cars that way, you know, which is good. But we're yeah. here. So let's let's go to the notary and get this done. Let's get it over we'll with. I'm sure my man got shit to do. Yeah, go home and cry about We're not taking... Car. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. You got your ID and everything? Yeah. We know you have your ID. We're taking the Honda, by the way. We'll leave your my car Honda. sit here. Not your Honda, my Honda. Goofy. He's no All right, let's go, guys. All right, here we go to the notary. Any cars coming down the alley? Nope. All right. So we're actually going to be heading over to Fox Notary. And where's Fox Notary at? This way. Yeah, I know where it's at, but... I know where it's at. Yeah, but where... It's Bow Bowmansville. It's in Bowmansville. Yeah. Is there any cars coming that way? No. Okay. Hopefully he pulls out behind me. Here he comes. Here he comes. Don't record and drive. I'll take I'm recording the wheel. and driving. I got the wheel. Get your hand off the steering wheel. You might cause an accident. We do not want that. There's my boy Blue back there. My boy Blue. My boy Blue. So yeah, so we're gonna go over here and get this title work done, and uh, then we will show you, we will reveal Zach's new car, and talk about it a little bit, and tell you everything that you need to know about it. It'll be pretty funny. Well, maybe it's not too funny, but it'll be pretty interesting. Hopefully you guys enjoy the, the car. So let's head over and get this all done. Somebody was out here doing donuts. I'm jealous. <laughs> That's freaking crazy. <laughs> Look at that freaking donuts. I know what the next one so is. Those are 625 and 897. Someone was out here doing donuts in their what, car. I know what we need to do for next video. What's that? I figured it out. What'd you, what'd you figure out? Donuts. We're not doing donuts. No. In the middle of a major front road. Front wheel drive donuts in the Integra. Oh, you wow. can't do front wheel drive donuts in the Integra unless you're going in reverse. reverse. I know, reverse. Let's do it. Reverse, reverse. 
Reverse, reverse. Slipping transmission, transmission. Yeah, my tranny's slipping like hell. All right, here we are at the notary. Getting ready. Zach, you excited? Always. Fox Notary, dealt with them guys multiple times. Very awesome place. All right, guys, so title work is complete. It's all, where are you going, Zach? I was looking around. Oh, <laughs> title work's all done. Scanning the horizon. This new car is now 100% officially his. Yeah. You happy? Race car. Right, it's not a race car. Nothing you own is a race car. It's a race car. Nothing. It's a race car. All right, we'll shake the man's hand. Thank him for the opportunity. Yeah, Be polite. Oh, You're dropping no. keys all over. Oh my God, people are gonna know what it is before the video ends. <laughs> all right, buddy. I appreciate right. it. Thank, thank you, you very again. Much. I really appreciate it. Yeah, do another one for you, and right here, buddy. Mm. Hey, little, thank you guys little one very gets much. one too. Yeah. <laughs> the whole the, now the circle's complete. Yeah. <laughs> gentleman, shake his dog. Yeah. All right. Well, let's head back to the shop. Yeah. Let's go reveal this thing. Okay. All right, fellas. Thank you very much. Thank Good you. Luck. See you, buddy. Make Drive safe, all right? Will do. You too. See ya. All right, guys, we are back from the notary in the shop. We have Zach over here. <laughs> and we're going to be getting ready to reveal Zach's new car. I hope everybody in the video, everybody watching the video is very excited. I know Zach is. Right, buddy? I am excited. And also, before we show you what this car is and talk about it a little bit in the video, also, um... We might be getting rid of a few things here in the shop. We're not gonna tell you about it too much, but uh, we might be getting some other stuff. We might be getting rid of some things. Things, new things might be coming in. Um, it, it's hard to say right now, guys. Uh, there's a lot of planning, a lot of talking going on, a lot of future events happening. And I think you guys would be very, very interested to uh, go ahead and hit that subscription uh, notification and also hit that bell um, to definitely keep up with the videos that are coming out in the future because uh, we're gonna have some exciting stuff happening, don't you think, buddy? I mean, hopefully. If everything works out, we'll have exciting things. If everything works out, it's gonna be a wild ride here this next month. <laughs> it's gonna be a wild ride. He's, like, I wish I could doubt him, but he's telling the truth. It's gonna be a wild, like, this is like movie type stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy shit. Crazy shit. But as you guys know with Zach here, as you guys know, he started out with a 2006 Tiburon, went from a 2006 Tiburon to a 97, to a 97 Integra, yep. then got himself into a GTP, yep. Pontiac GTP 99. which the motor is going to be going. We're doing a full video segment on the engine, me and him putting the engine in, in the ne next weekend? Uh, yeah, last weekend of the month. Last weekend of the month. He took off of work. We're going to be in here Saturday, Sunday. We're going to get it busted out. That way he has a nice daily driver. So the GTP will be running. We'll have videos out of that. So if you guys are interested in seeing GTP content, Pontiac GTP content, uh, you're going to be seeing it here soon, guys. You know we got the engine. It's raring to go. All we got to do is put it in, and that's an easy, easy thing to do here at the shop with the lift and everything. So we'll drop that thing out the bottom, me and him, make a whole bunch of videos about it, maybe two videos. Uh, maybe a video of us pulling it out and then us putting it in, running it, all that shit. But then he ended up getting his 99 Eclipse GST mm -hmm. as well which we've been doing a little bit of work on and stuff. And that's it, right, so far? Well, until this yeah, new car. The new one. Yeah, until the new car, which uh, I guess we better, I guess we better show them the new car. Should I just open the bay door, you think? You know, I, I guess you should. I guess I should. I guess, let's, let's go over here. Let's open up the bay door and show you Zach's brand new car. It's, it's actually not brand new, to be honest. Newest thing I got. It's the newest thing he has, yes. Now this, everybody, <laughs> this is the door to the future. There you go, guys. Look at that. 2006 Chevy Cobalt SS supercharged modded and we're gonna bring the car in and we're gonna talk about the mods here but uh that's zach's new car right there what do you think guys comment below let us know what you think of this new car roots. what's up i'm straight from my japanese JP you're J yeah you, you definitely are why don't you start this pig up get into the shop and we'll go ahead and talk about it a little bit more show everybody the ins and outs 
All right, guys, cars in the freaking shop. Like I said, 2006 Chevy Cobalt SS. Supercharged. 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 Yeah, it's a Whipple. <laughs> it's not a Whipple. Not if you guys remember a couple months back, uh, maybe about a year ago, I guess, a year ago, I did a buddy of mine. He had a maroon, not a maroon, a burnt orange metallic Cobalt SS. We put a mess system on, a pulley system, and uh, some other things. Took it to the dyno, dyno tuned it and everything. It made decent horsepower. Wasn't anything crazy, but it was a pretty cool little car, a little, little work that me and my buddy Connor did on it um, and stuff. We also put a clutch in and, and all that stuff for him as well. But I never thought in a million years that Zach would end up with a Cobalt SS. Neither did I. But you're Neither did right. Zach. But uh, I I the opportunity that. came about. And uh, now don't get me wrong, this car does have issues. It does have issues, um, which we're gonna talk about in the video here real quick. Otherwise it wouldn't be one of my cars. It, otherwise it wouldn't be a Zach car. It would not be a Zach car. But this does start up and run and drive. It's been inspected since 10, well, till 10 of 21, which is freaking awesome. It does have the Recaro interior, as you guys can see, which is pretty nice. And the interior is in pretty decent shape here. It's not bad. We still need to clean the car out and everything. But it does look good. It is a manual. It is a man gear um, vehicle. It has 100... Oh, there it was. 119,000 miles on the car. So basically 120,000 miles on the car. So it's a pretty low mileage vehicle in oh. Zach standards. Oh, whoa. There's but, three pedals. And there's three pedals. This is crazy. <laughs> um, we're going to go ahead and pop the hood. We'll show you underneath the hood. Comes with some Motegi wheels. I guess they're Motegi. Are they Motegi? Motegi? I've never seen a wheel like that before in my life. I don't know what they are. Tires are decent. Brakes are decent. All that stuff. I, I don't know what that is. I just like additives. Maybe, yeah, it is a Motegi. I think it's Motegi. But, um, yeah, go ahead and pop the hood. Let's, let's check out underneath the hood, bud. Oh, look at that. Look, the hood holds itself up, guys. <laughs> I'm not used to this at all. So, as you can see, it is the 2.0 liter uh, Ecotech engine, Ecotech engine, whatever they want to call it, with the stock, I, I'm assuming a stock supercharger. It looks like it has some sort of a colder, maybe a stock air box. I don't know if that's a stock air box or what it is. Oh, wait, that's the... That's what? the intake tubing, yeah. Where does it go? It goes down in the fender. Goofy. Yeah, but where's the it? Where'd you go, Dad? Where's the where does it get it from? Is it down here? Yeah, down in the bottom somewhere. I don't know. There's a box down there. That's not <laughs> cool. I can't see my quarter intake. So the biggest thing with this car, which we'll tell you right now, it does have the stage four intense racing setup on it, supposedly. Um, the reason why I know that is because down here, go get my flashlight real quick, we're gonna show them. Well, there's a much easier way to see that. Yeah, we'll show them, we'll get my flashlight and, and show you guys here in a minute or two. It does have an aftermarket muffler on it, but it sounds if good. you guys look, it has the intense 2.7 millimeter, 2.7 inch uh, uh, supercharger pulley. So we're making boost. It looks like a stock lower. Um, it does have the injector harness, and by the looks of it, I've, I've looked up, I've looked up some information on these intense setups and by the looks of it they come with 60 pound injectors now i have not pulled these injectors out of this car yet so i don't know if it has 60 pound injectors but i'm willing to bet it if it if it has the pulley it's gonna have to have 60 pound injectors because that is really a small pulley uh big time small pulley on that thing as far as i know that's all that is done to this car wait, 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 wait. smaller pulleys make more boost right smaller pulleys supposedly it makes supposedly it's supposed to make Supposedly it's supposed to make 17 pounds of boost. I don't know. It does have a boost gauge and you guys are probably, well, Andy, why don't you go beat on it and drive it? Well, There's the boost gauge there. About that. <laughs> um, well, we would go beat on and drive on it, but we got a little bit of an issue that needs a tissue. A little, a little you wanna, you wanna start her up and oh, show everybody oh, what the issue of the tissue is? Uh, it's just a tiny, small, small problem. Yeah, just a tiny, small little problem with this uh, 2006 Cobalt that we have to figure out. No, it's definitely not a Christmas tree. That's one thing, there's no check engine lights, which is awesome. I'm ready when you are. Holy shit, what the hell? All right, well, she's, uh, she's smoking a little bit. That's the tiniest bit. That's the tiniest bit. <laughs> Gotta shut her off. So she is burning a great deal of oil. There's quite oil in the exhaust. 
Dude, actually, wet. Put your finger in the exhaust tip. Put your finger in the put your finger in the hole, Zach. Clean, clean finger. Yeah. It's wet. Like that's wet as hell, and you can see the smoke and everything in the shop now. Like there's blue smoke. So it is burning oil like a son of a bitch, and we don't know. We don't know what it is. So we're definitely gonna have to do some videos. Uh, it does run. It has have a check. It does have one PO, PO code. Um, it has something to do with the MAF and MAP sensor I correlation, really, I really like the way it which, which I can obviously fix. What's up? I really like the way it, if my integra sounded like this, I'd be in love. Oh my God. No, like I, guys, I really like the way it sounds. It sounds <laughs> really good. So obviously, like I said, we're going to have to make videos about what this, what's going on with this thing. Um, one of the very first things that we're probably going to end up doing in the next video with this car, if you guys enjoy this video and if it gets enough of views and you guys like this content as uh, we're going to do a compression check. I'll have Zach do a compression check. And we're gonna do a leak down test. I've heard, and I'm not trying to speak bad about anybody, but I've I've heard that the intense racing tunes aren't really up to par, and they they hurt the engine sometimes because of running lean or whatever but, the case may be. Seeing as it's a Chevy Cobalt, Diablo Formula Racing here can tune this. <laughs> I can tune this with HP tuners, just like I tune the other Cobalt. So, um, yeah. so it, it, worst case scenario. We have broken ring lands. Worst case scenario, we have broken ring lands. Best case scenario, best case scenario, it might just be valve steals. Yeah, we talked about this a lot. Yeah, which to be honest, either way, we, we're not gonna know until we do a compression check and a leak down test. Um, I did have my boroscope down in the cylinders and there's a lot of oil on the pistons. I'm not gonna lie. Every single piston has a ton of oil on it, burnt. So it, it's pretty bad in there. It's, it is pretty bad. Um, but we'll see how it goes, guys. We'll see how it goes. But like I said, if this video gets an, enough of likes, enough of views, and you guys enjoy the cobalt material or the future of a cobalt, um, watch along and you'll see us diagnose everything just like we've done on all the other cars that Zach has owned. I actually really like the way it sounds. That's kind of like, that's kind of okay, like. Okay, he's just more concerned about what it sounds no, like, no, it's not if it runs really or bad. not. Guys, it's kind of doing it for me. Uh, if, it, if it whines but a little bit, mm. it's going gonna, it's gonna to whine a little bit. But, yeah. anyways, guys. Um, you may forget what I was saying now. I'm trying to talk to the I'm, viewers. I'm like, it's like the sound alone is kind of like it's doing it for me. Like, un, un, unfucking believable. Like, unfucking believable. If it does flames, it's not gonna do flames for you. Nobody likes you. I like me. But uh, yeah, like I said, compression check, compression check, leak down test to see what's going on with this thing. Hopefully it's something simple. And uh, like I said, either way, if we have to do valve seals or head work, that's still a big job. If we have to do a lower end and we find a, a stock short block for a decent price, we'll slap a sh stock short block in this thing or a stock engine in this thing, another stock engine, and retune it just like we're doing with the GTP basically. Cool thing about this, guys, it was imported straight from the USA. <laughs> Left hand drive. You're an idiot. But uh, obviously these engines, I've looked up prices on these engines, they're a little, little bit more expensive than the uh, GTP engine. But you can find them. I found a few that were within a range that was okay. And uh, we could probably make it work if, if we need to, if we need to. But like I said, we definitely are gonna do more videos on uh, what might be going on with this car. Hopefully it's something very simple and we can kind of get away with doing a cheap fix on it. And then Zach's gonna have a nice little supercharged Cobalt to drive for a while. We're not putting fake badges like, like, on take it. Take the Chevy off and put like a... No. Wrong answer. Let me think of a button. Wrong answer. Put a Porsche badge on it? No. Get a little... Nope. Voice. Definitely not. Hood ornament? Nope. Definitely not. I can see it happening already. <laughs> Ferrari right here. Nah, it definitely doesn't. But there you go, guys. What do you think, Zach? You happy with your purchase? He actually bought this car, by the way, guys. He did buy this car. We didn't do any trades or anything like that. Um... It came to a fruition of, of being able to get this car and uh, we got it. So, and Zach paid for it. And here Zach is. So, it was a good price and we couldn't pass it up. So, we did it. We went and did it. What's up? What could go wrong? Well, it's already wrong. We got to fix what's wrong. We don't talk about that. What could go wrong? I, I don't know. Exactly. Nothing. Nothing. But it does run and drive. So, that's a good thing. We got the BBS? That's not down BBSs. <laughs> Comment below, guys. Let us know what you think of Zach's. 2006 Cobalt SS supercharged piece of junk. This is your fifth car that you've had before you're 17. Your fifth freaking car. Two of which before I was even 16. <laughs> Two of which you had before you even able to have a license and drive on your own. Fucking crazy. Fucking crazy. Living the best life.
Lucky kid right here. Unbelievable. Wheeling and dealing. Wheeling and dealing. Sense. Start with KDM, move your way up. <laughs> Everybody hates on the Korean market, but. <laughs> well, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Do not forget to go check Zach out over on Instagram at The Pool. And check me out over on Instagram at Diablo Formula Racing, as usual, guys. Other than that, end of the, end of the story. Oh, wait, did you show them the best part? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs>